My name is Misaki, and I'm a full-time housewife. I live happily with my husband, Daiki. It's been quite a while since we moved into this house. It's starting to show its age, isn't it? Yo, yeah, the design is a bit outdated now, so it feels like it's from another era. We've spent so much time in this house. Yay, yeah, this house has seen all our happy and sad moments. That's right. By the way, Daiki, do you know about Zashiki Warashi? Oh, you mean the ghost or spirit that brings good fortune to the house? Yeah, that's right. It makes me feel safe. Misaki, are you about to tell a scary story or something? Have you ever heard that you can tell if it's about to leave by the color of its clothes? No, I haven't, and I don't want to hear it. Let's stop talking about this. But the other day, I saw one wearing red clothes. Well, how about we do some weeding in the garden? Yeah, let's do that. Hee <laughs> hee, yeah, I think that would make the little one happy too. Why won't you stop talking about this? Our child-rearing days are over, and we've been living a relaxed life together. Life with Daiki has been smooth sailing, but recently I've been worried about our son who just got married. This concern started when he came to announce his marriage. Mom, Dad, this is my fiancé, Frisia. Nice to meet you, Frisia. Looking forward to getting to know you. Congratulations on the wedding. Please take good care of Mose. Hey there, by the way, isn't this house like, totally falling apart, living in a shabby house like this is seriously messed up? Uh, falling apart, shabby. It's true that it's old, but it's not falling apart. No, it's the same thing, just different wording. The fact that you can't rebuild it means you are totally poor and useless. Seriously messed up. From our first meeting, Phrygia looked down on us and acted arrogantly. Honestly, we were against the marriage. But since Mose chose her, we decided to support him. After they got married, it had been a few years, but they rarely visited us. Then one day, Mose called. Hello? It's rare for you to call. What's going on? I have something important to talk about. I'll come over this weekend. Bye. Huh? Wait a minute. He hung up. What's wrong? Was it a prank call or something? It was from Mose. He said he has something to talk about and will come home this weekend. Something to talk about. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, the way he ended the call. It doesn't sound like good news. Mose quickly hung up after stating his business. He used to be such a kind child, but since living with Frisia, he seems to have changed completely. The weekend arrived, and Mose and Frisia came over. We're back. We're here. I'm so tired. Hey, where's the D? I'm really thirsty. Ah, uh, I'll get it ready now. Just wait a moment. Come on, you knew we were coming and you didn't have it ready. Useless. And what is this, these said snacks? No cake or anything. This is all we have. Sorry it's not up to your standards. Seriously, this is so bad. We came all the way here and you couldn't be more thoughtful. Exactly, we told you in advance, and this is what we get. Unbelievable. As soon as Frisia entered the house, she plopped down on the sofa and started relaxing as if it were her own home. Mose didn't seem to mind her behavior and just laughed along with her, while I quietly sighed in exasperation at the two of them. Honestly, so, what's this important thing you need to talk about? Oh, Mom, you inherited Grandpa's land, right? Yes, I did. Why? We want to build a two-family house on that land to live with my parents. What? With your parents? What? You're surprised. Mose also wants to live with my parents. There's no problem building on that land, right? Huh? Well, um... So, we need an 8 million yen loan for the down payment on the house. What? 8 million yen? No, that's a huge amount of money. Come on, it's a good deal. We'll be living nearby. With Grandpa's inheritance, we can manage the land and the loan, right? Please. If that's the case, Frisia's parents should at least help with the money too. What? Asking my parents for money is the worst. What kind of parents are you? Anyway, we're building a house on that land. Just help us out. If you don't say yes, I'll have Mose cut ties with you and you'll never see your grandchild again. Yeah, so think about my position. I'm begging you here. Daiki and I were shocked by their rude and inconsiderate demands. After exchanging looks, we reluctantly agreed to help, and Frisia left overjoyed. Later, we withdrew 8 million yen and, following Frisia's instructions, gave her 7 million yen. When we went to pay the remaining amount to the construction company with the documents provided by Frisia, we discovered an unexpected truth and decided to implement a certain plan. A few months later, That trip to America was amazing. Absolutely. 
It was great that we could all go on such a luxurious trip with the money from your mom. It was my first time at a casino, and I was so excited the whole time. Haga, by the end, you were really getting into it. Let's all go again someday. Hey Moes, the address your mom sent us for the completed house should be around here, right? Yeah, I think it's just around the corner to the right. I'm so excited about living together in the new house. Yay, we'll all live peacefully together. Pa, here it is. Wait, what? It's not a two-family house. It's an apartment building. What's going on? What's happening here? What is this? We have no idea what's going on either. Oh, did you all enjoy your trip? Well, this is my first time seeing it too. It's a nice apartment for singles, isn't it, Misaki? Mother-in-law, what's going on? Where's the two-family house? What do you mean, an apartment for singles? This isn't what we agreed on. How could you do this? What kind of parents are you? We've been taking care of your son. Is this how you repay us? Mose and the others were excited, expecting to see the two-family house, but instead, they found an apartment building for singles. They blamed us, but we stood our ground. There were issues with the documents for the two-family house. So, I went to your places, but you were all out, and I was stuck. Then a neighbor told me you had gone on an eight-day trip to America. With the seven million Yemisaki gave you, right? You took advantage of us. So what? We used the money to be good to our parents. Exactly. We owe a lot to our in-laws, so this is the least we could do. They're truly good daughters. Yes, you got yourself a good son-in-law. And this is how his parents treat us. That's our line. We can't live in a two-family house. Why should I use my land and money to build it? It's only right to prepare your own home. If you want to be good to your parents so much, do it with your own money. You keep coming to us for handouts, and it's infuriating. That's why we canceled the construction of the two-family house. Then the construction company suggested, why not build what you really want? So we decided to build an apartment and make good use of the land. Mose and the others listened with their mouths agape, as we explained, once they understood the situation. What have you done? Are you kidding me? You can't just do whatever you want like that. Oh? What's so wrong about it? It's my land and my money, so there's no problem at all. You wanted Misaki to provide the land and money, and you thought you could just live there for free. Even thieves and con artists would be shocked by this. Mom, I can't believe you do this to your family. I'm so disappointed in you. Oh, really? Well, we're equally disappointed in you, Mose. We're cutting ties with you. From now on, Norman and Tiziana are your parents. Did you enjoy the luxurious trip funded by your mother's money? That was a ridiculous move. I will never forgive you. Don't ever contact us again. What? Cutting ties, that's... When we finally said we were cutting ties, Mose was stunned into silence. However, Tiziana and the others didn't seem to care. Wait a minute. Without the two-family house, we have no place to live. What are we supposed to do now? You can just turn around and go back to your previous home. We canceled our lease on the kids' apartment and our own house. We're homeless now. You canceled without even checking the new place first. Then you better rent a place immediately and figure it out. Figure it out? It's not like we can find a place that quickly. That's not our problem. You canceled your leases, so deal with it yourselves. You can stay in a hotel or something. What about our belongings? The movers will be here soon. That's something you should discuss with the movers. It's not our concern. What is wrong with you people? Saying it's not our concern, or we don't know how irresponsible can you be, eh? Oh, so you think you're not being irresponsible? Of course. We would never leave family out on the streets like this. We're responsible adults and parents. Ha, it's funny to hear you say that. Then how about you take responsibility and return the 7 million yen we gave you for the two-family house? What? Wait. That's a separate issue. Why should we return money that was given to us? Well, that's some real responsibility you're showing there. We could easily sue you to get the 7 million yen back. But we'll consider it as severance money. We won't ask for it back. Yay, we'll make it back quickly with the rental income from the apartment. Stunned into silence by our pointed remarks, Tiziana and Norman had nothing to say. Then, Frigia spoke up. I'm sorry. I apologize for everything we've done until now. So please, even now, help us with the two-family house. Enough already. I told you to build it yourselves. But, we've spent most of the 7 million yen we received. What? 
What did you spend such a huge amount on? We thought we could use it all, so we mostly lost it at the casino. We thought we could live comfortably without rent from now on. Unbelievable. Gambling. Of all things. Anyway, we're out of money. We need money for a new place and other expenses. We'll apologize as much as you want. So please, help us a little. Enough. We don't care anymore. Borrow money or do whatever you have to. Goodbye. We've also decided to demolish the old house, so no one will be here even if you come back. Wait, is this really the end? Can the bond between parent and child be cut so easily? Of course, it can't be cut so easily. Well then. Looking down on us, taking our land and money, and living luxuriously on our dime. It's not easy at all. There were enough reasons for this. Most importantly, you stopped seeing us as your parents. From now on, you can enjoy your descent into hell with those three. That's right. I hope we never meet again, even in the afterlife. Wait, this can't be happening. What are we supposed to do in this situation? We really have no house or money. Oh, where did we go wrong? By now, we should have been happily living in our dream two-family house. Leaving the dejected Moe's and his group behind, we walked away. The four of them had to explain the situation to the movers who had brought their belongings and managed to persuade them to store their items temporarily. After living in hotels for a while, they finally secured a new place to live, but by then, they had accumulated a significant amount of debt. To repay the debt, the four of them started working various jobs and part-time gigs. They lived in a small, hastily prepared house, leading a frugal lifestyle that wore down their nerves. As stress increased, conversations dwindled, and they began to resent each other. They frequently quarreled over trivial matters, such as who should eat more because they earned more. Thus, Mose and his group found themselves living in a hellish existence, unable to move due to lack of money. As for us, I have to say, moving this house was amazing. It really feels like we're in our old home. Yes, it did cost a bit more, though. Well, we had to dismantle it carefully to reuse the materials. It couldn't be helped. Besides, it's fun to have the exterior look the same while the interior has the latest technology. Hee <laughs> hee, that's true. We updated the kitchen and other areas, so I can't complain. Hey, Misaki, I need to ask you something. Is it here too? Is what here? Are you talking about the little spirit? Don't give the Zashiki Warashi a weird name. And why are you so friendly with it? Well, I'm sure it's thanks to that spirit that the apartment business is going well. If I remember correctly, it was your idea to relocate the house, right? Is that why? Who knows? Maybe. Is that why you left the children's room on the second floor just as it was? Whether you believe it or not is up to you, Daiki. That's the worst answer. We're married, so no secrets, okay. Oh, you don't want me to keep it a secret? So it is here. You're reacting like it is. Since then, we moved into our new home, which looks exactly like our old one thanks to the relocation. We replaced various old fixtures and damaged wood to make it a more comfortable and safer place to live for many more years. The only reason for the relocation was to preserve the familiarity of our home, but Daiki seemed to remember the story about the Zashikiwarashi from before. I couldn't help but tease him because his reactions were so amusing. Upon researching, I found some scary stories about the Zashikiwarashi, but I choose to think of it as a protective spirit for our home. This way, we can live each day with warm feelings, and I believe the spirit is happy too. Thus, the three of us, occasionally with Daiki being spooked by supernatural phenomena, continue to live our peaceful days. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.